Hello, my Saggies, Sag Singles. This is your reading for December 17th through the 31st. Um, Sag, as soon as I started shuffling, I heard that a lot of you guys, or some of you guys, are dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio woman, Scorpio male. Um, I sense there's a lot of off and, off and on energy here. I feel that there's a lot of uh, power struggles, a lot of tension. Um, I feel that you guys are having a hard time communicating is what I heard Spirit say. Um, this is for my singles, by the way, but I think that you may be casually seeing this. This is a singles reading, but also for people who are casually dating, not in relationships, you know, maybe that gray area. Um, but maybe I feel this person is someone who you were dating seriously and you're single now and they're coming back into the picture, especially with Mercury retrograde in the picture. Um, I feel that this person, I feel that there's such a strong connection to this person that them coming back into your life has really kind of created a bit of, um, like, oh, wow, I really miss that person or you're kind of you know, content, like, um, you're, you're, uh, reminiscing, you're reminiscing on the old vibes, like the old memories. And you're really thinking about how fun they used to be. And I feel that maybe you guys are considering getting back into a relationship with this person. Um, other of you guys, you're dealing with a possible Sagittarius like yourself. Um, I see this person really being really fun and, and you're having a lot of communication there's great rapport. I feel that this person is a great friend as well. So I do see this being um, someone of a possibility. But my singles, um, I feel that in matters of love, you guys are really focused on, I feel some of my Sages, you guys are still holding on to someone in the past. And that's kind of spilling into your future and I feel that as you're dating you're kind of comparing these people like you're like oh yeah in your head you're like this person's cool but they're not like my ex you know so I feel like there's a lot of um you're comparing you're comparing a lot of your potential partners and I also see you guys kind of just playing the field and you're not really into anyone right now you know especially with the um Sorry, you guys, I had the Four of Cups, but I don't know what happened to that. Um, you guys are dealing with a time of just feeling kind of like my Leos. Like, you're just kind of like going with it. But, you know, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I feel like you're, you guys aren't really impressed with what's been kind of, you know, been coming around. But I do sense that there is just kind of a block here, like the two of swords, right? For my singles. Um, I feel that you guys are in your head about love versus actually going out there and dating. I feel that you guys are kind of thinking about it. You're overwhelming yourselves in your head. Like, why am I single? Why is my life still like this? Why haven't I met the one? What's wrong with me? Like, you're, you're, you're creating, like, this block of emotion. You're overthinking it. And I also feel that, again, like you may be in a position where you're missing your ex and you're blinding yourself. You're you're blocking your heart to potential lovers because you're still thinking about your ex uh, partner. So this energy is all about indecision, delays. Like you're just kind of like, mm, you know, the end of the month. You're just kind of like, maybe you need to make a decision between two people. And I see you feeling very confused about this decision because you just don't know which way to go. Um, but again, there's water behind her, even though she's blindfolded and even though she doesn't really know which way to go, use your intuition, Sag. Use that intuition, okay? Even my male Sagittarius is if you're caught between a water sign and someone new and, and a possible fire sign, really think about which way you want to go. Do you want to go back to that old person or do you want to step forward? Think why, like really take the time to think about which, you know, direction you want to head into because I think it's going to be very important. 
Um, the Four of Wands, okay, this is like the home life. This is the marriage card. This is about stability and foundation. You guys don't have that right now. I feel that you guys, part of the reason why you're kind of feeling out of touch with love, some of my Saggies, is because your home life is not where you want it to be. I feel that you guys don't feel stable. You don't feel financially stable. You don't feel like you don't feel like you have your ducks in one row. Like you feel like you're still kind of piecing your life together. You're still piecing everything together. Therefore, you don't feel like you want something stable. You don't feel like you want a long-term partnership right now because you're too busy trying to grasp everything else, if that makes sense. Um, I also have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Two of Pentacles um, in the upright position. Okay, so that's that. Beautiful artwork. Star Child Tarot is the best. I really connect with it. Um, and this is a Two of Crystals, Two of Pentacles, okay? So, Queen of Cups in reverse. You're dealing with a Scorpio. I, I always associate Queen of Cups with a Scorpio woman, but it could be Cancer, could be a Pisces. She's in reverse. Emotionally manipulative, okay? Again, I see you balancing two coins. You could be balancing two people. You could be balancing your relationship and your work life, even though you're single. Um, again, this could be a dating, a casual dating situation. I feel that you guys may meet, you may meet this water sign at the end of the month, okay? Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and she's kind of needy. She's emotionally dependent on you. She's very uh, clingy. And you're going to realize that at the end of the month and you're like, oh shit, I really have to balance my life. Like you're, you're trying to like juggle everything at once. Or for my females, you may be embracing or you may even be dealing with a, you know, casually seeing a male Pisces, a male Scorpio or, um, Cancer. But I feel like this message was more for my male, my male Sagittarius's. Um, but either way, you're juggling two people, you're juggling your life and relationships, or you're trying to juggle, you're trying to add more on the plate, and you're like, I got this, I could do it. But realistically, Sag, like, think about it, okay? I really feel like there's a lot of twos here. Twos re represent, you know, that duality. Twos represent partnerships, working together with someone else, coming into union with someone else. But as a single Sag right now, like ask yourself, do you want to balance all that right now? I mean, yeah, you could, but do you want to? You know what I mean? So take the time to really reflect on what you want because I see that you have so much going on already in your life. Do you want to add more to the plate? I mean, that's really the question here, right? And so if you're casually seeing someone who isn't benefiting you, please cut them out your life. You don't need this drama. You don't need whoever this is. That Queen of Cups got to go. She's drama, okay? Focus. I think Spirit is saying focus on your finances. Focus on balancing and grounding yourself. You really don't need all that jazz, okay? I think I'm going to pull one more card for you guys. Um, Sag for my singles. For the love reading 17th through the um, 31st. Okay, so I just pulled the King of Swords. Um, so some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini. Um, you may be meeting this person at the end of the month if you don't, if you haven't already. Um, this person is going to come off very logical but your style, you're going to definitely be very compatible with this person mentally. There's going to be a lot of communication. There's going to be a lot of verbal exchange. This person's fun. This person is really enticing. This person inspires you. They, they, um, they really inspire the create creativity in you. And I really see this being something fulfilling for you. Um, they may come off very detached. So don't be put off by that, okay? So this person may come off a bit aloof. They may come off a little distant. They may come off a whatever. But, um, and you may even be juggling between a water sign and an air sign. You may be choosing between two at the end of the month. Um, I see two elements here, air and water. So you may have these two potential people and you may be trying to pick the right one for you. Um, the water sign is in reverse. So let's stray away from that. 
the um, air sign is a decent, you know, they're in the upright position, but this person needs you to be logical, Sag. Okay, don't go in it full emotion. Don't go in it wanting to cling. Don't go in it wanting to expect, okay? Take your time with the uh, King of Swords because they have to mentally, um, they have to mentally really be there with you. Like they have to mentally approve their emotions, if that makes sense. And my Sagittarians, you guys just feel, right? You're half centaur, half human. But although that, you know, you're, you guys definitely have that adventurous, passionate side to you. You guys are very impulsive in matters of love. This air sign is a lot more practical, even though air isn't known as for their practicality. In this case, I sense intuitively that they are going to take it slow. They may even approach you as a friend. And you may be a little shocked, like, oh, you just want to be friends? Like, what? Like, psh, you don't want to date this? Like, <laughs> Mariah Carey style, you know, put on your shades, like, boo, you're missing out. But don't take it like that. Don't take it personal. Um, air signs need to process their emotions. And it takes them a while to process their emotions. They don't do it overnight. They take their sweet ass time, okay? Trust me, I know I've definitely dated a fair share of air signs and it's frustrating for a fire sign because we're so action driven even in the bedroom we are so like boom let's go like when it's on it's on you know like we don't need all that conversation we don't need the men I mean you know personally I, I have a Aquarius Pisces cusp ascendant so I definitely need a lot of mental stimulation in matters of love and Sagittarius is my moon sign so I do need I do need to feel inspired by intellectual conversation before I can even feel attracted to someone so I get it but um, most fire signs were very action oriented air signs are more pro they process before they move forward but this person looks promising you guys so don't push them away take your time have a good time with them at the end of the month I really feel this kind of moving forward so don't be afraid of uh, taking a chance, but take it slow. All right. Thanks, you guys.